A very good morning to you and of course many thanks for keeping it right 254. This is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. And you know, as the people in the marketplace they say, entrepreneurs are widely recognized as the prime movers of the economy. And this morning I'm joined by a very young man called Kenyanito Baraka. Karibu sana Kenyanito. Thank you. I want you to introduce yourself. I don't want to mess up your titles. You know, Manze, you, have, you have very many hearts. <laughs> I want you to introduce yourself kindly. Uh, so my name is Kenyanito Baraka. I am a relationship-based sales and emotional marketing expert. Also founder and chief cheerleader at I Entertainment Africa. Awesome. That's great. Of course, you can catch us, of course, uh, on our social media platforms at Y254, of course, on Twitter and all the, on our other social media platforms. I uh, will get straight to our interview, of course, with Kenya Nito. So, who is Kenya Nito? Um, Kenya Nito Baraka is a relationship-based sales and emotional marketing expert yes. with an entrepreneurial mindset that saw a gap in the entertainment industry and decided to found an entertainment company together with two other friends. So two other friends? Yes, yes. R Edwin Wafula and Yemisa right. Tengutu. All right, that's that was great. back in high school. Back in high school? Yes, That's yes. where you began? Yeah, yeah. So you began entrepreneurship while still in high school? Yeah, yeah. What were you doing back then? Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, it was an illegal business in school. All right. Uh, but we were selling chips, pin pops, uh, lollipops, all those things. Actually, so we had a, a, a tough time yes. with the management. All right. But all that we were doing, not simply because we didn't have money or uh, we didn't have food, I can't lie about that, mm -hmm. but we, we were doing that simply to raise about 30,000 shillings to start the holdings company. So all these you began because you were in need of capital? Yes, yes, yes. And did you manage to raise? Yeah, yeah. We, but we didn't hit the 30,000 mark, we right. hit 26, and then uh, I talked to my dad, my late dad, um, and he gave me 5,000 shillings, mm -hmm. so we did... We, we started now the company. Every entrepreneur, before they launch the marketplace, they are led by a particular gap that they see. Yes, what yes. gap did you see in the entertainment industry? Um, as we put it, uh, Entertainment Africa was found to tell the African story of love. All right. So the African story of love is uh, the love of, for what you're doing right now. All right. Your love for journalism. Yes. The love of, uh, of an actor for mm -hmm. the acting uh, skill. They want to uh, gain the acting skill. Mm -hmm. They want to gain... Uh, mileage in the acting industry, but then we realized um, but that was back in high school in 2015. All right. Um, uh, our director was the senator right now for Kak uh, Kakamega County, All Kofas right. Malala, mm -hmm. and so uh, he was busy. Mm -hmm. Whatever he will do was just to teach you to act up to a certain level, which was high school. All and right. then once you're done with high school, what next? Wait, so that was when do you leave high school? Uh, in 2016. 2016? Yes, yes. All right. So how, how, how did you begin all these? In 2016, we did our first uh, event. Yes. Uh, under I Entertainment Africa. At that time, it was not a holdings company. Mm -hmm. It was just I Entertainment Africa. It was actually not even a company. It was a business name. All right. So we did our first event with the capital we raised, about 31,000, mm -hmm. 26 from uh, selling chips and mandazi, and then 5K from my dad. And then now th the company started and picked from there. Uh, our first event was a loss, a big loss, because mm -hmm. we hired uh, matatus, we hired a truck to, ro to do road shows for about three days. Right. But at the end of it, we got a thousand shillings. Just a thousand? Yes, yes. You made mega losses yeah, yeah, out yeah. of a mega event. Yes, yes. How do you feel when you make a loss and yet you're anticipating for huge profit? Uh, it's a setback, uh, actually, because I had promised my dad that I would refund him the 5,000. <laughs> so it was a times two loss because yes, of the dad. Yes, yes. And then uh, on top of that, we had a debt of about 41,000 shillings right. from the suppliers. Tents, seats, uh, chairs, uh, all, all those things totaled up to 41,000. Mm -hmm. So it was really a tough time. And uh, I remember going back to my dad. My dad, uh, he's late. Mm -hmm. um, we lost him <coughs> last month. Oh, sorry for that. Yeah, thank you. So uh, we, we I, I went to my dad and asked right. him, Dad, uh, I can't pay you the 5,000 by the way. <laughs> uh, because of, we, we had a loss. Yes. But he told me one thing. In life, you give what you can lose. All right. And so That's amazing. That, that, is, that was it. Because I, at the, at the, at now, from that point onwards, we, be, we started... Uh, doing what we believed in. That yes. is telling the African story of love without mm. looking at money, without looking at anything else. We were just looking at how do we tell the African story of love mm -hmm. in the perfect way. Wait, just to understand this, yeah? Yes. Let, let's make this right. 
yes. for you it's not about money it's all about sharing love in the african continent yes yes how does that even narrow down and you're wearing a suit man <laughs> um when you do what you love and you yes. do it perfectly money will fall money will flow on yes, your side yes, yes. wow that was amazing you mentioned to me after that mazel kwanga acting yes and yes. even your co-founders also yeah yeah how did you then come on board just to see how you merge all these things and get to know be a, a become a brand by yourself um in 2015 i was doing it alone all right um but uh, the, we were doing shows we did actually two here at the kenya national theater mm -hmm. one in phoenix mm -hmm. uh, it was so sad that phoenix uh, was closed eventually yeah but then we did shows that is acting shows because i'm also a script writer all right so um later on i came to realize that now for me to do to do a play perfectly mm -hmm. and present it in the theater mm -hmm. i need someone who mm -hmm. is uh, going to paint these uh, models someone is going to paint the actors <coughs> and so now i went in search for a painter mm -hmm. i realized i'm not that <coughs> good in acting all right i'm good in scripting all right but then there's this colleague of mine who is uh -huh. good in scripting and is is he's good in acting and is not good in scripting all right so that is edwin of and so now i went to him and asked him ah, i'm thinking we can do this mm -hmm. and so now together we teamed up we started actually sending dms to all these uh, companies mm -hmm. looking for a partnership that is so it when you mentioned partnership how was the reception were you were you really uh, accommodated into it and being given the partnership ah no no you can see i'm tiny <laughs> up to <laughs> now uh, so that yes. is a major issue mm -hmm. that we deal with because uh when you go to for instance we we, we are doing a new, uh, uh some a project called fashion in the wild yes we have been doing it for the last one year mm -hmm. uh, i don't want to mention media houses yes, the yes. names of media houses yeah. but i can say we approached dozens of media houses All right up to the last minute no media house when was that uh, much this year much, yes, yes. all right but now up to the last minute no media house had come in but then one day to the event i'm telling you every media house was making a call we want to partner we want to partner but then now we decided let's go with the people who believed in our dream first that was y254 and kutv awesome let me ask yes i don't want to ask your age on air yeah, yeah. but do you think your age hinders you to access some of the places that you wish to to access it used to right, right now it's it's not a big challenge because at least now we have established some connections within the uh, marketing space because mm -hmm. that that is the uh, when, when we go to a company like coca-cola yes. airtel for instance we normally engage with marketing managers mm -hmm. mar brand managers mm -hmm. those are the people we deal with mm -hmm. and so far we've been we've established some rapport with them they've mm -hmm. seen our our ability to yes. uh, deliver and so now it's it's not a big challenge but it's still a challenge All right when someone doesn't know you because they yes. look at you you're tiny you're telling them you you are a, a founder in a company mm -hmm. someone will just look at you hey <laughs> yeah. wait <laughs> let me yeah, ask yeah, that yeah, yeah. all this time alikuwa na wewe yeah yeah manza na encourage all the way through to this point eh um apo sisi sema all this time yes. to me but on a bad day. All right. Yes, but yes. she has really been supportive. Very so kuna bad time supportive kwa Ibia Shara, isn't it? Very supportive. All right. Let me go probably and ask. Failure is inevitable in the marketplace and yes. especially in the entertainment industry. What are some of the challenges and failures that you went through or rather you're still going through in this time? I can say the biggest challenge for an entrepreneur especially when you're young yes. is getting started. Mm -hmm. That is it. Cuz uh, every time you'll keep on postponing mm -hmm. to can be a, what to, uh, <coughs> let me let me let me first uh find a job yes, that is yes. paying me do this do this but then uh we were we are realizing something mm -hmm. as, as as a company that now millennials millennials are changing the workplace all right uh -huh. because now someone young is not just looking for a job mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is changing someone young is looking for number one a good boss all right. someone who is going to encourage them to pursue their dreams this person is not looking for pension anymore as mm -hmm. it used to be this person is this person is looking for passion yes this person is looking for purpose mm -hmm. that whatever i'm doing right now i feel it and i love it all right do you have you employed people persons in your company right now uh we have 16 employees 16. and about 65 models just one question for yes, you yes. there's these uh uh there's this analogy rather it's yeah uh, it's there that the customer is always right how do you take that Yes, the customer is always right. Yes. As as a, from a marketing perspective. Definitely. Because uh, for me to, sp to to speak to you for instance, 
uh, I have to speak in your language. Sure, sure. I can't, if, if I was speaking Japanese right now, you wouldn't hear me. Definitely. Yes. Of which so I do? have to learn uh -huh. to speak English. Yes. That is your language. Mm -hmm. So I have to learn my customers' need first mm. for me to be able to deliver to them whatever they really want. So you motivate your workers. Yes, yes. To give the Not clients. Not my workers. We don't call them workers. You call them? Uh, at Entertainment Africa, we say we are pride of lions. Wow. Yes. All right. All right. So you motivate them. Yes, yes. To ensure that they serve their clients to the best. Yeah. Do you think money is a motivational factor to them? Yeah, definitely. So you pay them well? Yes. By the way, I hope you are watching, wherever <laughs> you are. So <laughs> the founder is here. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Yeah? Anyway, that's, that's amazing. Uh, where does your motivation come from? My motivation comes from every morning when I wake up, I realize it's not just about Kenyanito Baraka. Sure. It's about the people who believe mm -hmm. in their dreams and... I believe in their dreams too. Yeah. The people who have told now, you're a model, come to our entertainment Africa, we're going to brand you, we're going to give you all the mileage and you're going to be a top model in Kenya. Awesome. So that, that, that is what motivates me. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, realizing that I have a mom, I have a uh, late dad to make proud, sure. I have a sister, I have a girlfriend, all that motivates all right. me. How old is your sister? My sister Just is asking. four years older than me. Four years older than you. Yes. Right. So, so. Mm. That's nice. You know, when you told me your age, I was like, <laughs> You know, I was like, hey, manze, I, need, I need to do these things. But it's not about age. That's what it's you said. It's not about age. It's all about the entrepreneurship that is in you. Yeah. And we're all in different time zones. Yes. So I might be doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever you're doing or wherever you are, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's also okay. As mm -hmm. long as you're in your time zone and you're going, that is it. There's something you mentioned about passion. I want to ask you. Mm. Passion and career. You go to your parents and tell them, by the way, I want to be a DJ. I want to be a DJ. And parents are like, by the way, what DJ? What do you think about that? Just stand firm. In Form 1, Form 2, Form 3, my dad and my mom didn't want to hear anything about acting. Right now, uh, I can say they're best friends because of the entertainment company. Yeah. Uh, my dad gave me money to start the entertainment company mm -hmm. because he saw this guy is not just wasting time. He really believes in his dream mm -hmm. and he wants to go for it. Yes. So you're four years already as I Entertainment Africa. Yes, yes. Where do you see yourself in the next few years? Uh, we see ourselves being the first entertainment company in Africa to go public. All right. That is our, our five-year goal. We have actually we have a vision called the I Vision 2024. Yes. Yes. So you are aiming to hit Africa in the next f five years? Yes. That's your main plan? Yeah. yeah. And Probably, what, what, what new do you think you have brought on board for the entertainment industry? What new do you think you have brought on board? Uh, number, the first new thing is mm -hmm. telling the African story of love in mm. a classic way. All right. Because uh, you find that the African, look at uh, this film for instance, mm. uh, Lion King. Mm -hmm. Who does it? Disney. Disney is not a Kenyan company, mm. it's not an African company, mm. but Lion King is mm -hmm. set in the heart of Masai Mara. Mm. Mm. Why are they telling our story? I mean, it's not, it's, I'm, I'm not talking uh, about, because at some point I know we will work mm. together and yes. all that. Mm -hmm. I respect their work. Mm. But then, ourselves, why are we not telling our story mm. ourselves? Mm -hmm. why, don't, why do we have to wait for mm -hmm. some Mzungu to come to Kenya record Masai's dancing, post it on YouTube, get money, yes. put ads on the YouTube channel, mm -hmm. get paid, and we are still here. <clears throat> that is it. That prompts to, to me, me to ask you this question. Do you think, you know, wh when we talk about a plane, yes. when, or rather a bird, yes. when it's soaring high, when it's really going upwards, it really has its wings, you know, flipping all the way yeah. up. One in a Jew, one in a Jew, it's just there. So yes. we come and collect it. My question is very simple to you. Do you think young people will be afraid of launching out Yes, yes, most young people are, because um, every Wednesday, yes. as an entertainment Africa, what we do is bring on board people who want to start businesses, young people, because all my co-founders are young, and uh, the person we actually teamed up, we mm -hmm. have a sister company called We Create Media Limited, mm -hmm. so the person we teamed up from We Create Media Limited mm -hmm. is also a young person. All right. Uh, our mentor is the former head of visibility for Airtel mm -hmm. in Africa. Wow. He's called Chendende. He owns a company called Go to Market Africa. Uh -huh. He's our mentor. So he is also <coughs> quite a young person. He mm -hmm. understands that now 
we need to bring on board young people. So it's the three companies, what we do every mm -hmm. Wednesday is mm -hmm. we bring on board young entrepreneurs sure. and we coach them and we also try to mm -hmm. get to understand their challenges mm -hmm. and give our input wherever we can. You're a student? Yes. At Easy Tech University. Yeah, yeah. What are you taking there? Tourism marketing. Tourism and marketing. Yes. So how do you expect to merge entertainment and you know when you're coming on board with tourism and management? Um, I can say being an entrepreneur is not about what, whatever course you're doing. Sure. Being an entrepreneur is about leadership. Mm -hmm. um, that is the basic thing, mm -hmm. leadership. Uh, I attend leadership classes. Right. My teammates do attend leadership classes mm -hmm. and that is the first thing. Yeah. That is the common denominator. Going now to ZTEC to study tourism marketing, mm -hmm. That marketing element mm. helped me mm. to move from earning 1,000 in an event yes. to bringing this company to be a medium enterprise in three mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. So that is why I took marketing. Uh, we, right now we are talking about unemployment in the country. Yes, It's quite a great menace, yeah. especially to the life of young people. Uh, do you think there's something that really needs to be done for us to try and solve this menace of unemployment in the country. What do you think should be done? Young people should think outside the box. Right. It's not about <coughs> the idea. Mm -hmm. It's never about the idea. Mm. You can have um, an amazing idea, but if your execution is wrong, that is it. Awesome. So if you're young and you are in a position to venture out and start something, mm -hmm. start it as soon as possible. Forget about the idea. You can have a perfect idea. Wait for even 30 years, the idea will be great. But then if you don't do it mm. early, mm. it will take time. Look right. at, for instance, Warren Buffett and his uh, company, mm -hmm. Berkshire and Hathaway. It took uh, so many years to get to where it is. Mm -hmm. Amazon, so yeah, many sure. years to get to where it is. Mm -hmm. uh, Steve Jobs, mm -hmm. the late, mm -hmm. Apple, took uh, some years to get where it, mm -hmm. it is right now. So I think it's about young people in Kenya Stop thinking. I'm not saying don't look for jobs. Yes, sure. Because I also want people to look for jobs sure, within our company. Yes. But then uh, just make sure that you're following your passion. Correct. And if you follow your passion well, you're going to let solve me this ask you don't go. Yes. There's something about believing in yourself when you're launching out. Yeah. If you cannot believe in yourself, no one, they say that no one can believe in you. Yes, yes. Do you think you had enough capacity within yourself to say that now I need to launch out? Uh, I can't say I had enough mm -hmm. because I always kept on getting motivation from people, motivation from uh, colleagues, motivation mm. from uh, my parents, motivation from... You have to get motivation. Yes. You have to get people to believe in you. Mm. Yes. So you can't, you can't do it alone. That's yes. There's something I've just... See, yeah. uh, there's something I'm seeing. This is your Instagram page. Yes, eh? yes. Uh, I'm looking at this mm. picture particularly here for this young lady. Yeah. You did even the modeling itself, the art? Uh, there is someone called Innocent Ingutu. Yes. He's also a co-founder, does that. All right. That yes. looks so amazing. Uh, you, you have done something about seven steps to become a successful model. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what I didn't mention, yes. uh, Entertainment Africa is a holdings company. Mm -hmm. A holdings company is a company that basically, in real sense, does nothing. Right. In real sense, a yes. holding company does nothing. Mm -hmm. It just holds shares mm -hmm. in companies related yes. to it. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, whatever now we do mm. for that, especially mm -hmm. that th uh, about models, mm -hmm. we acquired uh, shares in a company called I Create Africa. All right. So I Create Africa is a modeling agency. Mm -hmm. So that is why you see, you'll see a lot of models wow, here. Wow, this looks so amazing. Mm -hmm. How Thank many you. companies are you affiliated to? We have four companies right now. All right. Yes. So the, you, you, you together, you merge and you do all this stuff? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. saw something about Mother's Day. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that you still do the same? Uh, Mother's Day was... Uh, we were, we were doing something for Fashion in the Wild. All right. Fashion in the Wild Africa is our company mm -hmm. that we started. And uh, uh, fortunately, Fashion in the Wild has mm -hmm. been able to go uh, Africa mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the whole continent. As you can see, this, this first, uh, the, the two photos, the three uh -huh, last the first photos. Three. Oh, these ones? Are yes. Uh -huh. th those ones are from an event we did uh, on 30th March. This year? Uh, yes, yes. All right. So we, we actually had Toyota Kenya present, ZTEC University present, Y254 was represented. Awesome. We had um, um, 
NHIF present. Mm -hmm. We had many companies and it was an African thing, mm -hmm. the whole continent. I'm seeing something here. Yes. Probably if they can post Kidogo. I'm seeing something about children's home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you still do the visits? We have the a community. foundation yes. uh, called IKEA mm -hmm. Africa foundation so this is our head of csr mm -hmm. she's called kelsey wangari all right so she's holding a baby uh, when we were doing something called the kids festival yes. yes so it's giving love and showing love in african way yes yes wow i love that i'm yeah. loving it because it's it's the way we need we need to nurture ourselves even as young people yeah but yeah. that to see kind of mentality yeah sure. you we just need to be job creators you know yes, we need yes. to come up with these jobs um what would you think about the marketplace and right now with what you're doing, do you think, is Kenya ready for these? Are we really ready for all these at once? If we're making money paying bills, Kenya is very ready. Kenya is very ready yes. for making money. Yes, yes. What? Okay. <laughs> so as our basi, I'm loving it because uh, when, when we were talking off air, you said something mm. that really probably uh, brought my mind to your attention. Yeah. Like, I'm not so much into some other things that don't make sense. Mm. I'm so much into what to me mm. makes sense. Yeah. So to you, your company is all about what to you makes sense. Uh, not what to me makes sense. Uh -huh. I believe I, I speak for the majority. All right. That is for the youth mm. in Kenya who wants to venture out, but they still don't want to venture out. Mm -hmm. So I, I believe I speak for that person. Yes. And by me speaking for that person, uh, I have to do what I feel is right. A skill of leadership is your intuition. Mm -hmm. Whatever you feel. Sometimes you won't be told or you won't read somewhere sure. that you need to talk to this colleague of yours mm. to maybe change their behavior or yes. do something or mm. change their, their approach in something. Mm. But your intuition will have to tell you and mm -hmm. you'll have to go with it. Y you mentioned something about leadership. Yes. You are a leader by yourself. You told me, Arilan. Yeah. What do you think we need to be done, needs to be done in terms of leadership? Do, does, do we in Africa have people who really inspire us in terms of leadership? Yeah. Of good leadership, that is. Um, I can mention someone yes. uh, called Esther Moniki. She's the right. CEO of Lapid Leaders Africa. Mm -hmm. It's where I schooled a leadership course. Mm -hmm. uh, that, is, that is in 2017. Mm -hmm. I went for a leadership course there. Mm -hmm. Esther is the representation. She was working previously in P uh, PwC. Yes. And then now she came back to Kenya and now started a leadership school. Mm -hmm. I believe such schools as parents, don't just just take your kid to form one, form two, form three, form four, they are done, mpeleke mm. driving, that is it. Mm. And then now they, you tell them now, uh, go to uni, they go to uni or college or yes. wherever, and then now you tell them, look for a job. Mm. The world is changing. Mm -hmm. Right now you need to take people to leadership schools. Yes. The, uh, when, when, when you're also in leadership, uh -huh. you have to keep on attending leadership. It's a skill that you gain right. slowly. I, I know five years from now, I won't be the same type of person I am mm -hmm. because of such leadership. Wow, courses. that's amazing. Let me ask you, uh, because our time is running out, yes. let me ask about still typing. Yeah. On place, or rather you have been a victim, or rather some of your friends in the industry have mm -hmm. been victims. Do you think you've been victims of a still typing? Whereby mm -hmm. you find like, by the Kundela mentality, by them he says he DJ, you know, DJ no my eh? What do you think about that? Uh, I work with 65 models. All right. Uh, and we, we actually outsource sometimes uh -huh. whenever we, we want to use more. Mm. These are good people. Different in their own way, but they are good. B before we go to them, have you so, ever been a victim? Yes, uh, myself, no. All right. But mm. I'm explaining yes. uh, now from a, a, a perspective where yes. I work with models. Mm. People talk about models, they talk about them, oh, I can't date a model because of this and this and mm. this and this and this. At the end of the day, it's not about the career they're pursuing. Yes. It's about they themselves. People mm. are different. Mm. You can find which career do they say is, is good. A banker, for instance. An accountant, you know. An accountant or whichever. But this person uh -huh. is not your type. Mm. So simply, don't just uh, judge based on this person is this, so I can't do this. Mm -hmm. All right, that's that's so cool. And but when I'm when I'm trying to look at the stereotypes, uh, the, that notion of like, and yeah, by the way, kuna vanya ile mentality imekuwa created in us, especially in our generation. Like, if you find someone in the, especially in the second world, to pata like kuna ile mentality ya umsi siwezi, because lazima kuetu na side hustle zake na chini amaji and afanya vitu zingine. Have you have you probably come across such kind of people where, whereby you work with them in terms of mentorship, and you work them out? People who... Who exactly. have been victims of the stereotype. People who have been victims. Yeah, most of my models are... They are victims. Yes, So yes. How, do you, how do you help them as a leader? 
you tell them people are different yes uh, simply because a person uh, says you you're a model mm -hmm. it can't work out or yes. something it simply does not make you lesser a lesser person wow that is it all right you just have to believe in yourself mm. what's your word to young people or rather the young upcoming entrepreneurs who are probably looking at you probably from home and they're like man i want to launch out i want to be somewhere like this guy, you know, like Baraka, you know, I want to get to this particular place. What's your word to them? Uh, so much has been said, so much will be in blogs, but I'll just tell you one thing, start now. Start Simple. now. Simple and precise, start yeah. now. You learn along the way. You learn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Start now, you learn along the way, because still yes. it's a journey yeah. into it. Yeah. Who is one Kenyan, Kenyan uh, heated person that you believe Unim Semenyamin helped me grow? Um... I can say, uh, I can mention many, it's not one. All right. Unfortunately. Like, how many do you have? I can't, I, uh, there is the CEO of Wikrit Media, uh -huh. he's called Sudi Ali. There is the CEO of uh, Go to Market Africa, he's called Chendendeti. Mm -hmm. There is my dad, my late dad, there is mm -hmm. my mom, there is, I mean. Let me ask. Yes. Was your dad an entrepreneur? Yeah, my dad was an entrepreneur. Uh, Actually, uh, in Bungoma, there's mm -hmm. a company called Mayanja Agro Ventures. Yes. So it is his company. Uh, it is deal. It deals in um, agriculture supplies. Yes. All right. So it narrows down all the way to you now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, narrows down all the way. All the way to you because you no, know, the father was an entrepreneur. You come as an entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah, sister yeah. Is an entrepreneur my, my sister also. is also an entrepreneur. Wow. She owns a company called Mawas Cakes. Another one called Kitchen Glam. So all of you guys are like entrepreneurs that house? My, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we are entrepreneurs. We have Memo, an entrepreneurial mindset. No more queen with the marketplace. <laughs> yeah. What are some of the challenges that you think are hitting most people in the marketplace? Number one, being young. <laughs> simple. Being, being young, young. Simple. Because you don't have experience. Truth yes. be told, even yeah. if you'll go somewhere and they tell you you don't have experience, deep down inside you know you don't have experience. Number two, uh, I can see it's being in a position where you don't know people mm -hmm. because uh the most uh let me say the most productive form of marketing mm -hmm. is not even tv is not social media mm -hmm. the most productive form of marketing is the word of mouth right. when i'm talking to you face to face <coughs> mm -hmm. that is the most productive form of marketing and if i don't know you how will i talk to you all right if someone a young person wants to start a company but they don't know the ceo in X company, mm -hmm. how will they start out? That is it. So for you, it's just very simple that start now, you learn as you yes, go. Yes. Those are the words, of course, from our v our guest for the day. Of course, uh, he's called Kenya Nito, and it's great to have young entrepreneurs on board who are really growing. And as I said, as I began, they are the people who help to move the economy of each and every country. And these are such kind of people that we need to be having. Of course, join us in just a few. For now, we take a short break. <laughs>